General Motors has got a number of new SUVs here at the Motor Show. One of them is the GMC Terrain. It's got a restyled uh, bodywork. This is a bit of a Judge Dredd thing going on here at the front. Walk around the side and you can see some meaty wheel arches here, which uh, gives you an impression of muscle. Not a lot of muscle under the bonnet. It's got a 3-litre V6, but it also has a 2.4 four-cylinder engine, which General Motors are claiming will have the most efficient fuel economy in its class. Expect to see these in the showroom first quarter of 2011. A cousin to the GMC Terrain is the new Captiva, basically a restyled version. Under the skin, they're pretty much similar, but obviously the difference is in the branding. And whereas the GMC is normally the more macho and the more manly kind of vehicle, with the Captiva, with the Chevy, they're obviously going for the family market. And to that end, they've got this third row of seats in the Captiva, something that's unique to the Captiva. The Terrain doesn't have that. But one thing I always worry about with these third row of seats, and let me show you what I mean. If I just close this, have a look at that headrest. That's right in the back window. That's not just a Captiva, that's many, many cars of this kind, but that's a personal thing. Still, a handy little thing. Um, it'll come with the same 2.4 four-cylinder and a 3.0-litre V6 as the Terrain, and like the Terrain, it'll be in showrooms first quarter 2011. One of my favorite American cars is the Camaro SS, and I'm sitting in one right now, except you'll notice something different about this one. Yep, there's no roof. This is the Camaro convertible. It looks the business. It's not sure that it's something that I would buy, but if you want to buy one, it'll be in the dealerships March 2011. Cadillac have brought their concept car to the Abu Dhabi Motor Show. This concept's been at a number of shows, including Detroit earlier this year, I believe. And it heralds a new flagship car from Cadillac. And to tell us a little bit more about that, I've got Fadi. Um, this is a concept car, but it's siring a production car, right? It's still a concept until now, and uh, we've showcased in Detroit and a couple of shows, and it's a Middle East premiere. Mainly the idea behind the concept is to showcase uh, the design clues for Cadillac in the future and what will be the next generation of Cadillac to come, and uh, mainly also on the interior and the kind of technology we're following in the future. As you can see, is a very, I will say, sophisticated yet very friendly to, to use in terms of like interface with the customer, whether as a passenger or a driver, mm -hmm. and also the rear seat environment. Mm -hmm. And when are we likely to see this stuff in road cars? Are we talking about middle of next year? Or? St still a concept. There is no mm -hmm. uh, firm date or details about mm -hmm. any production car, so it's still for us to mm -hmm. showcase where we're heading to. Mm -hmm. Are you getting lots of reaction on this car? I mean, I know it's the first day of the show, but yeah. I guess that's one of the things that you're looking for here. Exactly. In I mean, feedback, you know, I think a bit early now to assess, mm -hmm. so we have a couple of uh, things in place uh, mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the feedback, uh, I think, where the car was showcased was pretty positive. Mm -hmm. Should BMW and Mercedes be worried? Uh, you need to ask them, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Yeah. I've managed to get inside the XTS and we're having a look at this remarkable car. It's very futuristic, very sci-fi in here. I love these panels that are showing all kinds of stuff to me. It's a, this is a concept car, but they've certainly got these things working and it's doing things like bringing up my friends and phone numbers and showing me which way I should be going and stuff like that. This car is designed to showcase future technology that we should be seeing in Cadillacs from next year onwards. And it's all pretty funky down here. And this is a new version of their automatic gear selector, I guess. Um, some of the buttons here are on touch. I guess they've done away with any issues of tactility by actually just providing touch buttons. It's very nice, actually. It's very appealing. And the interior has a very nice tactile quality as well as a, a real nice styling element to it. It's very intriguing. I can't wait to see what they're going to put into production based on this.